Hey everybody, this is Rhino and we're back to Axiom Verge. So, we've got this new red coat that damages bricks that you're teleporting through, which might mean something, but it opens the door to a room like this having breakable bricks just behind like one layer of unbreakable bricks, which means if I am really going to try and look for every single secret, I could potentially have to do that in every single room. And I don't think that is worth any what the time. The good news though is it will make getting through things like this really, really quick and uh, easy. Um, th that being said... We're in a weird position where I don't know where the next area is. Uh, I can remove the two marker and we can work our way back here. And this is just back to the repair droids, which maybe this is supposed to imply that I'm supposed to go where I went after I first ran into the repair, repair droids. Um, Maybe. Maybe that's the indicator. Maybe that isn't. Um, this will just drop me down to this one. Which, this one's, I think, the one that betrayed them and worked against them. And then, it seems like they just decided to have a single brick sometimes that is black that's still a wall hmm. and yeah maybe they wanted to remind you of this story for some reason hmm. I don't know what that really would remind people of Uh, undeniably there there could be a lot of secrets around but I don't know what they're for or what they matter uh, let's see it's easy to make that jump I suppose um well, hmm. I think I probably already worked my way through all of this before. Just doing that. And it certainly seems like the drill is a lot. As uh, st stronger than it used to be. To just teleport ourselves to the other side of that, and if that's not where we were supposed to be, then we can teleport ourselves to the other side of everything with our remote droids. Yep. Alright, so where does this connect? I think it's probably time to. Uh, oh, I didn't know these would break. Uh, I think it's time probably to jump through the side of that trace memory again and wander around there we haven't been in that area I question whether there's anything more in that area it feels like it's probably just an Easter egg section but I, I have no idea
so it's here. And how difficult would it be to run through this now? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know about this. Whether this is going to be worth it or not. This could just be a huge waste of time. Playing with the left stick again when I should be sticking with the D-pad. Just want this to be a shorter experience. So the 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 danger in that, of course, is. By trying to go for a shorter experience, you're actually guaranteeing you're going to just die a lot and then have to start all over again. You know what? A bomb in this area would be great. That, that would transfer a lot of the people. How do we want to go? Left or up? Yeah, that seems like that's just a shortcut room, so I don't think we need to do anything there. There we go. Yeah, any room like this, now I can just kind of bomb and I'll have transferred all the, uh, all the potentially dangerous people to being on my side. Whereas this room, it'd actually be probably a pain to use the bombs. Because that would probably make it worse, not better. Hmm. Yep, looks like there's nothing here. You would kind of think with the way the story is going and how I am a clone or a younger clone of, of Athetos that this memory I should run into a copy of myself and thus um, and then thus be able to talk to myself and maybe accomplish something by talking to myself. I don't I'm not sure I fully grasp what could happen there, but otherwise this is just a this is just what it seems like. It's a secret area with some collectibles. And that also implies to me that there very possibly are some secret areas in all the other previous areas uh, with collectibles and that there's actually quite a lot more collectibles around. Hmm. 
My other fear is that there's very possibly a fourth coat that unlocks even more ability. But that would be rather silly. It, but it is also rather silly that there are three coats in the first place. It's also rather silly that there's um, um, a lot of this happening. So many weapons in particular. Feels like it would have been nice if there was a fast exit after reaching this. So yeah, weird glitchy world. Doesn't seem like there's anything in it. And yes, now at our current level of damage and health, we're, it's not really a challenge to get through here. That being said, it might be easier just to let him kill me than it is to run through all of this. It's not like I haven't died a million times. Oh, by the way, there is an achievement for, for by playing this game and not dying at all. Um, one assumes that means not dying the minimal number of times that you're forced to die because there's about two points in this game already where we've either passed out or straight up died. Uh, so let's get over here. So now it's decisions, decisions. Do we want to go and use the fast travel section, which would have us avoid this map to get to there? Or do we want to go to this map? I think we want to go to this map because that opens the door to some possibilities. Guys are still hard to kill. Hmm. 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 I believe, yeah, this is the way we wanted to go. These are the bodies in the background of the giant creatures. Why we why you would build such huge bodies is questionable. Giant heads and giant bodies. The, they unless the the argument is that that's just how much pro processing power uh, their CPUs took up. Like they had such big computer processors it, it took that much space but then why would their heads work at all at this point right. oh this is this is gonna be so easy now to do this this area actually goes anywhere though. We'll see. No, it doesn't. Darn it. Would have been convenient. Uh, 
would have been too convenient apparently. I know that there's some guys that are going to jump out and start attacking me. And I want him dead. Through this. Um, it's probably helpful to go to the save file space. Refill my health and refill my super bombs. Hmm. Is there anything up higher that I need to deal with though? I don't think so. We are just kind of wandering around all throughout the world and like we'll unlock one ability that will then let us go back and uh, unlock some other ability that is way further away. See this red coat dash maneuver. Alright, that is something up there. That's some new mutation that I want, or maybe don't want, but um, would be helpful to have. Alright, so how can we get up there? So if I transported and then double dashed up in that general direction, see, it's gonna be something like why, why, don't double, yeah, that doesn't feel like that would work. Seriously, am I just gonna have some kind of ability that is like flying? I think I might. As crazy as it sounds, I think I might eventually unlock an ability to fly straight up. Uh, some kind of jetpack or something. But even if I did get that ability, it would almost certainly be the last thing we get. Otherwise, it wouldn't make a lot of sense to have just unlock the red coat. Gotta get back to using the D-pad. Right. See, I know I went through this part, but there's nothing else to do from that side, it seems. And yeah, this is this is exactly what I expected was going to happen. Is we'll run into a scenario where it's just a lot of effort to get from point A to point B, and take half of an episode just to walk from one side of the map to the other. I don't feel like Metroid played this way. I really don't. I'm gonna stay down here. And see if we can just run to the edge and where that number one is. I think. Right. This, this, we can mess this up that way. We can shoot that. And 
I think I can just do this and then do that. Yeah, I don't know how helpful that is. And as far as it seems, there might be something else even higher up in that direction. Uh, but here, if I was just to tap this, that's not enough to get us higher. Hmm. So there might still be a secret in that room. Either that or you fall down that room later on. Uh, because you have this whole decoding uh, scenario um, going on, I may very well have just picked up like a super important message that explains the whole story really well. Uh, but because you can't read it, it kind of doesn't matter. Ooh, um, I can get this collectible now. I can just do that. Oh, seriously? Oh, I got it. I thought I died. I could also have done that that way. So now we're just trying to, in a quick and easy manner, I think run back up to talk to Ophelia. I don't think we're going to have to fight too many people if we don't want to. And we'll try and keep an eye out. Hmm. Hmm. Seems like that still doesn't really work on all of these guys. Like now that I've slowed them down, no, that still doesn't work. Uh. So these guys are best to just be avoided, I guess. Hmm. This is the kind of game that's going to wear out my controller at this point. It's, yeah. Uh, I'm getting a little worried. It's, it's, it's been a long time since I've put so many button presses in a game. Usually I'm playing point-and-click adventures or something simplistic that's slower. Uh, this one's kind of pure action. Again, we'll just check to see if there's any secret. Hey. There is a secret. health fragment. Hmm. Oh, there could be secrets everywhere. Yep. I'm probably not finding all the secrets. Giving, giving up at this point any idea of 100% completion because, yeah, there, there could be so many nightmare scenarios of, of, of one thing hidden in the one place 
I failed to thoroughly search. Hmm. Now what'll be annoying is if this turns out to to not be where I needed to go. If that's the case, then I, I guess we go back to the other face. Uh, if we have to just run around the entire game again, I think I'd probably at that point want to just use a walkthrough. This is new. Trace. Wow, Else Nova. Yes, drones repaired my body before other Rosal key. Trace, I'm sorry for my reaction earlier. You should not carry the blame for acetosis crimes. Okay. Ahead is an elevator to breach. Athetos is inside. I do not ask you to kill him. Just shut down breach attractor. But he will try to stop you. As always, there is a weak point. Find and destroy it. Once breach recedes, I can help. But I cannot survive in breach. So be careful. Athetos lives okay. We can lock him up or something. But no killing. No killing. Thank you. So this is you. It, I was originally soldier. Does it frighten you? I think I was already at some point beyond the fear. Oh poop. I forgot what I was going to say. Thanks for apologizing. Please don't kill me again. I won't. Be careful. Athetos is devious. You cannot trust him. I'll keep that in mind. So wasn't this the point where there was a head floating around before? Uh, I think it was and there's like a big there's a secret but I don't think I don't think the dr repair drone is going to land on that I can't dash downward on this even though I should be able to Okay, so I am still of the opinion that there is something over there. Let's see if maybe my third dash... It, it's like half a pixel, half a block short. Hmm. There almost certainly is something up there. But you have to get this exactly right. You have to, you have to jump and then dash and then, and then shoot it straight up. Jump, jump, dash, shoot. Now it seems like it's just like one brick short. We'll just move that marker over here. I think we're approaching the end of the game though and I'll be fine with that um, yeah, I don't think we need to go further to the left so this here this here this here this here teleport to this get up here and now that I can break bricks, I can get up to this point, which is where we couldn't reach before. Hmm. What is this? Hmm. So... Here's what normally happens at the end of any series of mine. I expect that it won't take too long and I go way too long. We've gone almost 30 minutes, about 30 seconds short of 30 minutes, and my first instinct, which is probably the wrong instinct, is to keep going, defeat Athetos, and think that that's going to be the end of the game. It's never the end of the game, though. It, it never is. Like, uh, there will always be betrayal. Clearly, there's a whole bunch of secrets that either 
unlocking a new game plus or there are more weapons unlock in general uh, it wouldn't be unbelievable to say that uh, all the upgrades might unlock and then we have to run around the entire game again we're about halfway through with the notes uh, nowhere close to halfway through with the codes um, I wouldn't actually be surprised if there's uh, a way of guessing these codes and, and, let's see uh, J U S T I N and then B A I L E Y that's the old code and it worked I look different now I look like Samus did in Metroid when you use the Justin Bailey code <laughs> so apparently um, that these codes I guess I was supposed to guess um, which probably is pretty easy to figure out because I could probably find the main words uh, and just type in whatever those languages are. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Reveal Uruku might be a password. So let's try that. R E V E. I think they also said that the developer of this game is Justin Bailey. Maybe that is a pin name though. U K U. Hmm. That won't work. U R U K U. U R U K U would not be a code. Uh, be, so they all have to be this long. Uh, maybe, maybe I was supposed to guess what they were. Hmm. I don't think that there's been any other words that have popped up though. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. So I, I don't know how I could guess any of the other codes and I'm not sure the, the other codes really would change anything. So yeah, like I was trying to say before I got distracted, is I think that we'll probably see a betrayal here, find out Athetos is a good guy, and have probably at least another hour of gameplay, if not even more. That's going to be it for this recording. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment, and watch every second of my videos. If you want a friend or follow me on any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below in the description box. And if you want to support me even further, there's a link to Patreon. Or you can friend me on Steam and gift me a game off my wishlist. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.